In this math tutorial, we are going to review how to solve a couple of story problems involving fraction multiplication. This problem reads that Janice is preparing a recipe that calls for three-fourths of a cup of oil per serving. If Janice needs to prepare two and two-thirds servings, how many cups of oil will she need? Well, it is given that for one serving for the recipe, she is going to need three quarters of a cup of oil. So if she needed two servings, we would take three quarters of a cup and multiply that by two. Or if she needed three servings, we would multiply that amount by three. Well, it says in the problem that she needs to prepare two and two thirds servings. So we would multiply this fraction by two and two thirds. So what we are going to do is change that mixed number into an improper fraction. So we may multiply that by 3 fourths. So with any mixed number, you have to write the denominator exactly as it is. And for the numerator, we multiply the denominator by the whole number first. 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 plus the 2 at the top would give us 8. Next, I am going to cancel out this 3 at the top and this 3 at the bottom because they share the common factor of 3. And of course, 3 goes into itself once. And whenever multiplying fractions together, when you see a numerator and a denominator that are identical, you can quickly cross them both out and change them both into 1s. And 8 and 4 share a common factor of 4. So we're going to divide 4 into itself once. And 4 can be divided into 8 two times. Now we have the numerators of 1 and 2, which produces 2. And at the bottom, we have 1 times 1, which equals 1. And now we just have to simplify 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. So we would need 2 cups of oil in order to fulfill the requirements for 2 and 2 thirds servings to make the recipe she needs. Let's try another example. This problem reads that Jamal is running at a rate of two and two thirds miles per hour. At that rate, how far will Jamal have run in one and one eighth hours? So in the problem, it is given that Jamal is running two and two thirds miles per hour. So if we wanted to figure out how many miles Jamal ran in two hours, we would simply double two and two thirds because two and two thirds miles per hour is the unit rate. That just means how far Jamal ran in one hour. So for two hours, we would multiply this by two. And for three hours, we would multiply this by three. But the problem asks, how far will Jamal have run in one and one eighth hours? So we multiply two and two thirds by one and one eighth. And because both of these values are mixed numbers, we have to rename both of them as improper fractions. So for two and two thirds, I'm going to write the denominator 3 because that's not going to change. And for 1 and 1 eighth, I am going to just rewrite the 8 down here. Now to get our numerator for 2 and 2 thirds, we multiply 3 times 2, which is 6, and then add 2 to that, and that would give us 8. So 2 and 2 thirds is equivalent to the improper fraction of 8 thirds. And for this numerator, we do 8 times 1, which is 8. And 8 plus 1 more is 9. So 1 and 1 eighths is equal to 9 eighths. Now we see if we have any cancellation opportunities. And right away, we can spot an 8 at the top here and an 8 at the bottom here. And we can change both of those into the number 1. And for the 9 and the 3, we can divide the common factor of 3 into both of those. So 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 can be divided into 9 3 times. And that leaves us with 1 times 3 at the top, which is equal to 3. And at the bottom, we have 1 times 1, and that is equivalent to 1. Now, 3 over 1 is an improper fraction, so we have to simplify. And whenever simplifying any improper fraction, divide the numerator by its denominator. And 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. So we would say that Jamal ran three miles in one and one eighth hours 
if he was running at a rate of two and two-thirds miles per hour.